Today, Gaza's health ministry says that the death toll in Gaza has topped 7,000, including 3,000 children. But here in the United States, President Joe Biden is questioning those figures. I have no notion that the Palestinians are telling the truth about how many people are killed. I'm sure innocents have been killed, and it's the price of waging a war. The big question is, can we trust Gaza's health ministry since it's ostensibly run by Hamas? Well, the State Department surely does. The Huffington Post reviewed nearly 20 State Department updates on the Israel-Hamas war starting on October 8th and found repeated references to the Gaza health ministry, with very few caveats about its accuracy. Many situation reports have been prepared by the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem and then circulated to a broad group of department officials working on issues related to Israel-Palestine. Situation reports such as these represent U.S. assessments from the ground that are intended to inform policy discussions and decision-making in Washington. Later, a State Department spokesperson clarified. They said, quote, No one is questioning the scope of the humanitarian crisis in Gaza or the significant number of civilian lives that have been lost. And OCHA, known for having the most accurate numbers on the ground, responded to Biden's skepticism and said that they rely on the Ministry of Health. Omar Shakir, the Israel and Palestine Director for Human Rights Watch, says he's seen no evidence of numbers being manipulated. In fact, he says, quote, We have been monitoring human rights abuses in the Gaza Strip for three decades, including several rounds of hostilities. We've generally found that the data that comes out of the Ministry of Health to be reliable. When we have done our own independent investigations around particular strikes, and we've compared those figures against those from the Health Ministry, there haven't been major deviations. We've looked at satellite imagery, we've seen the number of buildings, and the numbers that are coming out are in line with what we would expect with what we're seeing on the ground. We're quite confident in the overall casualty numbers. Shakir did mention one gray area, and that's differentiating combatants from civilians among the dead. But he says the large proportion of women and children killed has been indicative of high civilian casualties. Ultimately, Gaza Health Ministry casualty figures have historically tended to be reliable, in part because the names of the dead are carefully documented and the deaths tend to be well known in the territory's tightly knit communities. Shakir went on to say that generally the data is cataloged in a way that there are detailed breakdowns that include identifying info about each person. So following Biden's comments, the ministry released a list of names and it goes on and on and on.